Hello, this is the lecture number 5 for the chapter sets and in the last lecture we were discussing the exercise 1.3 and we have done up to question number 3. In question number 4, you have to find the subsets of the given sets. So, we have to find the subset of this set containing only one element. Now, because we know that the number of a subset of a set is 2 raised to power n, where n is the number of elements. So, first of all, we find how many subset we can make of this set. So, we have one element, so 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2. So, we have only two subset of this, which is empty because empty is a sub empty set is a subset of every set and the set containing the element A only. Now, subset of AB. Now this set has two elements, so 2 raised to power 2, that is it will have four subsets which are empty set A, B and AB, four subsets of this. Now the set containing element 1, 2, 3, the number of subset will be 2 raised to power 3 which is equal to 8 and they will be empty set. The set containing element 1, the set containing element 2, the set containing element 3, the set containing element 1, 2, the set containing element 1, 3, the set containing element 2, 3 and the set containing the element 1, 2, 3. The total 8 subsets of this set. We have the set empty set and in this we have um, 0 element, so 2 raised to power 0 is 1, so it have only one subset which is empty. Now in question number 5, we have to find the power set of the empty set. So what is the power set? Power set is the subset of, uh, uh, power set is the set of all subset of a set. So empty set, the number of subset we have already discussed is that only one. And the power set of this empty set is we put in the curly bracket. So how many elements in this? It is being asked how many element the power set of this set has. It has only one element. In question number 6, uh, you, uh, you have to write uh, the set, uh, set builder form of uh, the given uh, great, uh, convert the uh, types of interval from roster form to set builder form and from set builder form to the roster form. So see in your books all of you, in question number 6, the uh, class intervals are given in the set builder form and you have to convert it into the uh, roster form. Now in uh, question number 6, uh, the set builder form of the closed interval x such that x belongs to real number and x greater than minus 4 and less than equal to 6. So it means for 4 minus 4 we have we should have open interval and for 6 we should have a closed interval. So you have to write like this open interval for minus 4 it is open interval for the close interval it is 6 and similarly in the second part it is given that x is greater than minus 12 and less than minus 10 so we have open interval for both minus 12 and minus 10 in the third part it is given that x is greater and equal to 0 and less than 7 so because it is less than 7 so we have open interval and because it is greater and equal to 0 so we have the close interval here see you on books all of you in the fourth part it is given that x is greater and equal to 3 and less and equal to 4 so we have the close interval for both uh, uh, 3 as well as Fourth, the close interval denotes the equal sign that is given that x is greater than equal to 3 and less than equal to 4 that is from 3 to 4. Now in question number 7, the roster form of the in, uh, interval is given and it is given that uh, minus 3 and ma 0 both uh, lie uh, in the open interval. So it x is greater than minus 3 and less than 0. In this we have x greater than equal to 6 and less than equal to 12. In this we have x greater than 6 and less than equal to 12. And in this we have x greater and equal to minus 23 and less than 5 and uh, as usual in the set builder form you have to write uh, x such that x belongs to real number and such that. Now in question number 8 you have to find the universal set for the following the set of right triangles. Now you have to give a set which uh, in which this set of triangles right triangles can lie or is a subset of that set. Now because all the right triangles belongs to the triangle so we can say that the universal set for this will be the set of all triangles and similarly for the second part the set of isolated triangle we have so the universal set for this can be 
uh, the set of triangles because isosceles triangles lie in the set of triangles. In question number nine, thus uh, we have how many sets? We have uh, set A containing the element uh, containing the elements. Uh, we have one, three, five, two, four, six at B. Set C has zero, two, four, six at and you have to decide from these sets which can be the universal set for these uh, sets. Now, the set which, uh, which contain all the elements of these three sets will be the universal set. So, the C part containing all the element of the, these three sets, so we can say that the set uh, containing the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is a universal set for these three sets. Now we know that the universal set is a uh, uh, largest set of which all the sets are subset. So this is the exercise 1.3. Mostly they are uh, very short questions and you can uh, solve them orally. In exercise 1.3 also, we have, uh, it is a, also a short exercise in which uh, you have to find uh, the union of the sets or rather you have to find uh, whether the given set is a subset of not. Now in uh, exercise 1.4 you have to find the union of the given set. Now in question number one first part the set x is given and a set y is given you have to find uh, x union y you can very easily do it now in uh, i'm taking the third part why i'm taking the third part because you have to find the union of these sets and uh, uh, in the question number five you have to find the intersection of these sets also so i'm doing the question number five and one um, at the same place so first of all question number one third part convert this x is a natural number in the multiple of three so you, have, you first convert into the uh, roster form that is multiple of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. And the set B is given as a natural number less than 6 which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have to find the union of these sets. So you can easily find the union that is um, the element which either belong in A or B. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. And in question number 5, we have to find the intersection of this. So intersection is common element of this, which is coming out to be 3 only. In fourth part, it is set builder form it is given. That is x is a natural number and x is greater than 1 and less than equal to 6. So greater than 1, it is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and less than equal to 6 means up to 6. In question number 8, it is given that a natural number uh, is greater than 6 and less than 10. So 7, 8, 8, 9 are the natural number greater than 6 and less than 10. So you have to find the union. So it will be 1, 3, oh, sorry, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the intersection of this is empty because it contain uh, no element common to these two. In question number 1, uh, fifth part, the set A containing the element 1, 2, 3, set B uh, is empty, so A union B is the total elements of A and B or the which either belong in A or B, so it will be 1, 2 and 3 and the intersection will be empty because no element is common in this. Now in question number 2, it is given that the set A is containing the element uh, AB and the set B containing the element ABC, so it being asks See in your books, all of you, uh, you have it being asked whether A is a subset of B or not. Yes, A is a subset of B because all the element of set A, which is AB, is a, belongs to the set B, which is containing the element ABC. So yes, A is a subset of B. Now, the, if you find its union, so it is coming out to be ABC, so it is equal to B. So it means if A is a subset of B, then A union B is equal to B, the larger uh, superset, it will be equal to, super, if A is a subset of B, then A union B will be equal to the superset or the larger set. Now, if you find its intersection, it is coming out to be AB. See in your books, question number two. And uh, we can conclude that if A is a subset of B, then A intersection B will be equal to the subset that is equal to A. This is the question number uh, 2 as well as question number 3. In question number 4, uh, the sets are given, set A, set B, set C and set D are given and you have to find the unions of the sets. Question number 5 we have already discussed. In question number 6, 
uh, also uh, the set uh, A is given as 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Set B is given as 7, 9, 11, 13. Set C is given 11, 13, 15 and D is given 15 and 17. I am taking uh, its ninth part in which you have to find A intersection. A intersection B intersection B union C. So first of all, what you have to find? First of all, you have to find A intersection B. So A intersection B, find the common element of A and B, 7, 11. Then you have to find B union C. So B union C, total element of the uh, sets B and C. So it is coming out to be 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15. And intersection sign is there. So it means you have to find the common element of these two, which is coming out to be 7 and 11, which is coming out to be 7 and 11. So this is the uh, math uh, way you have to do this uh, question number six in which we have to find the uh, union or intersection. In seven, the sets are given in the uh, set builder form that is set A is, is given, see in your books, uh, natural number, so natural number I have written one, two, three, four and so on. Set B is given an even natural number, so I have written two, four, six, eight and so on. So on. C is given as the odd natural number, so I have written 1, 3, 5 and so on. And D is given as the prime numbers, so I have written 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. And in first part you have to find A intersection B, which is coming out to be uh, A, intersec A intersection B. So it is coming out to be 2, 4, 6, 10. if you find the common element of these, 2, 4, 6, 8 will be in this. The common element will be this, which is coming out to be B. Uh, if the question is given in the set builder form, you try, you try to write the answer in the set builder form also. So like this, you can do the question number 7. In question number 8, you have to find uh, the which of the following are the disjoint sets. Now, I think we have not discussed the disjoint set. The disjoint sets are those sets in which uh, we don't have any common element uh, in those two sets or if A intersection B is empty then the two sets are set to be disjoint or we can say that A and B are disjoint if A intersection B is equal to empty. So how can you do the question number 8? You find the intersection of the two given sets. If it is coming out to be empty then it will be disjoint otherwise they are not disjoint. Then the first part A intersection B is coming out to be 4 which is not equal to pi so they are not disjoint. In question number 9, the sets are given. You have to find A minus B, B minus A. You know what is A minus B? Those elements which in A but not in B. And B minus A means those elements which are in B but not in A. In question number uh, 10 also, you have to find the difference of the sets. In question number 11, R is a set of real number. Q is a rational number. So what is R minus Q? R minus Q means real number minus rational number so you'll get the irrational number so those elements which are in real number but not in rational number so it will be a irrational number in question number 12 you have to find whether the given two sets are disjoint or not so how can you find whether they are disjoint or not by finding their intersection if the intersection is empty then the sets are disjoint otherwise they are not disjoint okay thank you